Hey guys, I'm Greg. This is Greg's Beer Review. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Clown Shoes, guys. Clown Shoes, this is their Blade Corn Unidragon, which is their Russian Imperial Stout. And this is a monster beer. This beer, they're out of, uh, this brewed by the Mercury Brewing Company out of Ipswich, Massachusetts. And this beer comes in, let me, let me read what's on the side. What should we call our Russian Imperial Stout? Black Unicorn, Soul Dragon, nah. Let's combine them and create the ultimate mythical creature, Blakehorn Unidragon. Imbued with monstrous amounts of dark malt and aggressive hops, Blakehorn Unidragon is a powerful and complex brew designed to improve with age. And right here underneath the barcode it says bottled 2-2012. Simple as that. Thumbs up, guys. It don't take a rocket scientist. We don't need a code. We don't need all that horse hockey. Get a brain. Put a damn day on the bottle. Other than that, you suck. That's all I got to say, guys. Uh, if you don't have a date on your bottle label, you suck. Uh, that's as plain as I can put it. The uh, the beer, like I said, they're out of Mess Epswich, Massachusetts. Year-round 12.50 ABV monster beer. Year-round serving, food pairing. The, the beer is it's an imperial stout, so it's a dessert-type beer. But it's going to go with your stronger dishes. Uh, the glassware is pint glass, the Becker, the Nautic, Tumbler, Stein, the Mug, oversized wine, the Chalice. I'm going to use the Dubell glass, guys. That's what I use for these monster beers. And this is a super monster beer. So, I mean, a lot of the, the, the super big beers, once I get up to 12%, they are just so boozy. So I'm hoping I'm not going to be disappointed on this one. And, of course, this can be selling for <laughs> probably 10 to 15 years, probably, uh, with 12.5% uh, alcohol. It's a... Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna hang around a while guys, so just make sure you fridge it. It's about seventy degrees or so or, or between fifty five and seventy degrees. I would say fifty five is better than seventy. The longer you keep it at fifty five, the better off you're gonna be. We might give us a little chocolatey head on this, even a twelve per half twelve and a half percent beer. Oh yeah, look at there. Good finger, finger and a half of chocolatey, creamy. Look at that roasty head there. That is gorgeous. Over into the light, it is pitch black. This is used Harley motor oil. This is 60 weight, dirty 60 weight. It is, it is black as night, guys. You cannot see anything through this. No red tinges anywhere. Let's get a nose on this one. Wow, that smells very pleasant. I'm getting some dark chocolate, bittersweet chocolate. Some licorice, some coffee, some... There's a heavy roasty malt. I mean, even some molasses or something in there. Wow, that smells absolutely great. I'm not getting a big booziness right now, but I'm sure it's coming. Look at that, guys. It looks wonderful. I've not been disappointed with anything from Clown Shoes so far. So, guys, I hope it holds in line. And I wasn't able to sell this very long, being at 12.5%. But we'll see if it's worth grabbing another bottle and putting it away. Cheers. Oh, yeah. It's definitely worth getting another bottle and putting it away. Big, roasty, coffee, bittersweet chocolate, raisins, dark cherries. Wow. I'm impressed by how well this, the alcohol is heating, heading on this. 12.5%. 
tastes like a 9%, maybe even an 8% beer. Now, it's a lot more intensify as it warms up. This is right out of the fridge, and a lot of people don't like drinking stouts of that ABV quite this cool. So we're going to let it warm up like I always do and see what it ends up with at room temperature here in about 45 minutes. So uh, let the other half sip on this too, see what you think. So this is pretty tasty, man. This is very, very tasty. Not been disappointed yet, and I don't think I'm going to be on this one. So guys, stick around. See where this one ends up. Looking like it's going to be up in the A group. What do you think, guys? Get the lacing on the side of there. It's awesome. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I think we're sticking around. Got just a little left in the glass here. I've been sipping on this probably about 45 minutes. It's room temperature now. The booziness is definitely there. It is woke up like a dragon. It's 12.5% uh, and it's awake and alive now. Big, big alcohol presence now. I mean, it is really there. <laughs> Not hidden at all, but... Uh, it's still a pleasant experience. It was a very nice beer. Uh, I enjoyed the roastiness, especially the chocolate and uh, and the caramel and everything that went with this. But the alcohol is awake now, so follow with you guys. Wow. That's some awesome beer, though. It is definitely worth picking up. If you can get Clown Shoes beers in your area and you're a Russian Imperial Stout, you will love this beer. Just remember, it's 12.5%. Big, big beer. Uh, date on the label, thumbs up on that, guys. As far as I'm concerned, this is a 9 out of 10. Uh, I may be giving them the benefit of the doubt because I like everything that Clown Shoes has done so far. So I'm a little on the partial side on their... Cruise. Uh, I'm not having anything bad from them, and kind of like saying clown shoes, guys. <laughs> uh, Rate Beer has this at 97 overall and a 65 in the style, so I don't understand the style numbers there, but it is kind of boozy on the back end once it warms up. And Beer Abbey comes up with the 89, so they're not even in the 90s on this one, so uh, I don't know what's going on with that. I thought it was pretty tasty, so Maybe I'm out in the left field. I don't know where I'm at on this one. Uh, I thought it was an enjoyable beer. I like clown shoes and what they do. So I've not had a bad one from them, to be honest with you. And I'm trying to get the Vampire Slayer. And I think they have one more out something that I've not had or reviewed. So uh, next time I go up to Venezuela, I'm going to try to get both of those if they've got them. And guys, if you've had this beer, give me some comments back on this one. I thought it was tasty. Let me know if you've had it. You liked it, loved it, whatever. If you like what you're seeing. Hit that like button down there if you need a shirt. You know what to do? Give me a shout. Uh, I have a bunch of people asking me my name and address and all that kind of stuff. But it, it's posted on the uh, the opener video and on the t-shirt video and stuff. But if you don't know what it is or can't find it, give me a shout. I'll be a, send you a private message and let you know where you need to send the money for that. If you want to do one of those or, or whatever, guys. So, without me rambling on again, 12.5%. I might call the buzz on this one, guys. Hey. You know what we're going to do tomorrow? Yeah, that's right. We're going to look at that fridge. Hope you can join me then. See everybody then.